How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to the show. This is Wake Run Collapse, and I've got box number 5 out of 12 of Ultra Sun cracking open today. Yes, indeed. It's going to be a quicker opening, as I, um, as I kind of let you guys know about in yesterday's Ultra Moon video. Uh, so we're not going to be sleeving hollows as we go. Uh, we're not going to do the two-pack trick. I'm just going to kind of do this. Because at this point, you're not looking forward to the hollows. Any of them. Uh, but I will um, I will kind of keep it going as best I can in preparation for the uh, the speed of the openings coming this weekend. Uh, we did already get an Ultra Rare out of Ultra Moon, so it would be nice if Ultra Sun followed suit with its unit energy. I would love that. Really just a new card. So we got a Dialga. I'm actually, you know what? No, we're not going to sleeve him. We're not going to sleeve him. We'll sleeve the Prism card, uh, because I don't know how well that foiling holds up. Uh, I've really never experienced it before, and it hasn't exactly been enough time for people to report if there's a problem with them. And, of course, we'll sleeve our true blue full art. This would be nice to get in full art as well. I got a Bastiat on. The real plus side is it's going to take up way less space on the hard drive with a shorter video. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, the struggle of filming in 1080p and 60 frames per second, a 20-minute video is 5 gigabytes. So on my... Um, Trashy internet. That's a that's a three hour upload. We got our Cyrus Prism, and yes, we will sleeve it. Yes, we will. Also, I don't think I mentioned this in previous videos, but I most definitely completed the uh, the campaign card collection, the, these 36, these cards right here, I most definitely already completed that. Uh, I had gotten, I believe, 33 out of the 36 cards out of my first two boxes. And then I just opened up a random box and found the other three cards I needed, so. And hopefully it will not be too challenging to piece together full sets for people who might want them, might want to collect them. Never know. So we got Catcher, Monferno, Sneasel, Yenma, and Salazzle. Ooh, the Dusk Main Necrozma. Get the feeling that's probably pretty cool as a hyper rare. So we got Roserade, Chimchar, Glameow, Turtwig, and Potion. Couple of, couple of starters in that one. Oh, goodness, this is way better. Coronet, Magnemite, Chimchar, Orangaroo, and a Heatran Hollow. Oh, God, can they always be like this? Now, I know that, reasonably speaking, I can't expect all my box openings to be... 8 minutes and change instead of 12 minutes and change. Uh, but today is a special case. So we are trying to burn through these boxes, get to our giant opening. Shield on, Roselia, Magmar, Magneton, and Honchcrow. On a shaman. Uh, so this question hasn't come up uh, recently, to my knowledge, uh, but it does show up from time to time. Uh, why don't I open my packs by hand? Uh, well, Japanese packs are tougher to open by hand. Uh, there's like a rip slit in the top right hand corner of the packs, and using that you can access the packs. If you want to open them like you do like English packs, where you kind of like break them open through here, you're going to have a whale of a time. I 
I mean, imagine if I had to open 720 packs that way, uh, packs that only have five cards inside, uh, that run more of a risk of me trying to be a behemoth, which I'm not, and manhandling the cards, which I do anyways. It's just uh, not a recipe for success. Ooh, got another one of those. So now we're just hunting the full art. Plus, at this point, I've been working on the same pair of scissors since 2012 for these openings. They're like dollar store scissors, and I've gotten like 60 bucks worth of satisfaction out of them. So, that's pretty sweet. So you got Potion, Orangaroo, Roselia, Chimchar, and Shield on. About 75% of the way through the box. Just finishing up our final several packs en route to a Hyper Rare. We hope. A magnet zone. Oh, yes! Oh, I love this card. The Unit Energy Ultra Rare. I'm so delighted to have this. Oh, it's so pretty. It's actually my favorite of the two as well because of the colors of the typings on the card. That is gorgeous. Look at that. The water, the fire, the grass type all swirling. Those beautiful gold sparkles. And then that central colorless energy symbol to bring it all together. 78 out of 66. It is the last card in the set. It's so mystical. Oh, that is a true blue knockout of a card really quite happy that I pulled it. So, of course, we're going to sleeve this one. I don't know how valued it is. I would imagine it's got some. Like, I don't think it's, like, bottom of the barrel or anything like that. Uh, but that was very much a, for me, kind of pull. It's the kind of thing that when this is truly all said and done, which, like I've been saying, it's not going to be for some months... Uh, that's going to be the feeling that I'm probably going to miss. So we got a Torterra right there. A DCE, Turtwig, Magneton, Missing Clover, and Honchcrow. And in our final pack, we've got Licky Licky, Turtwig, Diglett, Magmar, and a Heatran. Just like in the last pack of the left-hand side. And another Heatran. Alrighty, guys, our GX pulls were the two Dustmane Necrozmas and the Dialga GX. But more importantly than that, we were able to pull the Cyrus Prism card and the Unit Energy Ultra Rare. Thank you so much for checking out the video, guys. Thank you for the support going forward. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button down below and that you're subscribed so you can be right back here for box number five of Ultra Moon coming at your faces tomorrow.